nuance or the pudding you want. Book in a place in Wakanda where we all belong. Where the vibe is vibranium, take you straight to the cranium. It's you holding you back, ain't no use in you blaming. This ain't victim shaming. This let's get to change it. Is that meant for playing it forever in a day? Is that we all we got and all we got? Today. Hey, welcome to it. We in it, bit. We, we in it, bit. Mm -hmm. Black yeah, yeah, history yeah. month like this here. Oh yeah. Bit. Fuck you talking about. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also got them Black History Month. Oh yeah. Y'all and I'm black, y'all. And, and I'm black and black and I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, 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 black. Nigga, black and black, black, black. Nuance. What you talking about? Welcome to Black Nuance, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You already know, man. Well, you're not crazy, bro. You, you just stuck, stuck in the house. house. You know what I'm saying? So get outside. Go outside, bro. It's Black History Month. It is Black History Month. This weather is changing. At least here in VA it is. Mm -hmm. It's been nice as a bitch these yeah, last couple days. It's How nice man. it been? Nice as a bitch. Yeah. yeah. That's real nice. That's yeah. nice. Like, <laughs> not mean as a bitch, but nice as a bitch. Bro. That's good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jones, she was just nice to you that day. Nice. Yeah. It's February, too. They Black Love. History Month, bro. Why it's so warm in February though? I ain't tripping. Just the love in there. I ain't tripping. I wish Black History Month was in a warm month though. Yeah, that that's how you dope. feel. That's how I feel with this last couple of days. Like, let's yeah. learn some black that stuff. Be dope. Let's come outside. Right. Let's go outside, learn right. some black stuff. Right. Black it would be cool to have it in the hey, cookout man. month, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Black History Month should be moved to June. Yeah. There you go. Hey. That's what I'm. I'm, I'm about to uh, hey. uh, petition on that one. Hey, hey. Black yeah. History Month should be moved to June. I think I can month. get behind something like that. Know what I'm saying? I yeah, I got y'all. We made that happen. And how many days was in? How many days in January? I mean June. Thirty days. September. Yeah. April. June. Thirty. So thirty. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. We need them two extra days. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It's more than twenty-eight. Forty-eight hours more of Black History Month. <laughs> mm -hmm. More than twenty-eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what I know for a fact. That's, what That's I know. factual. I don't know if it's twenty-nine, thirty, or thirty-one. <laughs> I never knew how it's they got the numbers and stuff. But anyway, man. Uh, so welcome to it, man. It's another episode. You already know you hit the button. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, y'all. definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I felt I, I felt missed doing this, man. I'm mm -hmm. missing doing this. That's how I know. Mm -hmm. I be seeing a lot of people start podcasts, and they, one thing you got to know about starting a podcast, it ain't gonna be a lot of money up front. No, or it ain't gonna be a lot of money up Period. You got to have something to say with some people you want to talk to. Yeah, and you right. gotta have some type of passion for this. For this, yeah, definitely, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Definitely, That's what I meant to say some passion. You gotta be passionate, dog. Because about episode three, yeah, you are gonna be four, tired. Yeah, you episode done. Episode five, anybody gonna be? You ain't gonna be really rocking with this thing no more. Yeah. Then yeah. what? Yeah, you gotta bring the love into it, right? Yeah, like especially if you expect to get love back, you are gonna be stuck. I think. So what? Uh, back uh, been in here did one lap episode last month for January. We are here this month for February. Uh, we gotta come up with some stuff we're gonna figure out, man. My man about to hit the road, dog. Yeah, man. We what you going down to Atlanta? What you gonna be doing down there? Oh, tomorrow? Uh, yeah. tomorrow I'm going down there, uh, taking Isaiah to the to a concert. Nice. What nice, concert? Jid. Oh, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. J I D. J I D. Then y'all go I'm talking about uh Yeah, you be talking about hitting the road for 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 this bag, for this money to save this world. To save the world. To do superhero fine. stuff. Oh, That's yeah. what he talking about. He ain't talking about Oh no, nah, I was talking about trip. leisure. Nah, nah, nah he was like he said on the last episode. Oh, oh no, nah, that was a couple episodes ago. Yeah, yeah rest. Y'all yeah. know we be borrowing my dog, man. He be here on ball time sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> we went through a whole season of it. Yeah, I remember. Oh well, man, we gonna. Uh, my man was here at them little. But that's gonna that that time gonna take care of itself, man. Already, we here, man. we here up in here today. Oh, yeah. Get ready and get to it. So, what y'all want to talk about? Well, you already know, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all know. Y'all <laughs> don't know what he doing, man. I don't know what he doing, man. I feel like I missed something. I feel like I missed rookie. something. Rookie, you on rookie mode. We just, we just started. <laughs> I feel like we missed something in the intro. Nah. <laughs> this is us. We didn't introduce ourselves, I guess. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Myself. There you you're go. Right. There you go. Right. Who are you? So you know who you know, man. It's your boy, Mister. You already know. <laughs> and it's your boy, Swag a lot. The da 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 da. Hey, listen. Now we back. We back on track. There you go. All talking, right. Y'all niggas turned on hey, me. Uh, Welcome back to the Black Nuance uh, Podcast. Mm. All right. I mean, no, they know us. I think by now. We had uh. So how, now I know how we all normally do it, man. Yeah. My man, <laughs> adolescent, always come in and adolescent because you might not have had a lesson. And do it like you nah, the lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you yeah, you know we say hip hop is like the word of God, right? You got common, delight. Love has no limit. Let's spend it slow forever. Love has no limit. Let's spend it slow forever. 
and we got 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. We're going to go the NIV version, um, but I want to reference the King James Version just by the word, uh, for love substitutes char- charity, right? The King James Version used charity, but we're going we're gonna to do the NIV with love, but substitute charity, and you'll, you'll kind of see where we're going. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, right? It never fails, right? The, old, the, the, the King James Version say it endureth all things, right? It never fails. Love never fails. And I like charity because... Like charity is, is is kindness and it's tolerance when you're judging others, right? Okay. Like that's that's the the meaning of charity, right? Like so, no matter what, like I'm always giving the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Right. Right. So that's to. what. Yeah. Yeah. And this is how you do it, though. It's through your patience, right? Being kind, right? Not being envious, not boasting, not being proud, keeping no record of wrong, right? This is these are and these are things is what love is, right? So love is absolute, right? And so. Like it, so love itself got a built in tolerance to be able to handle whatever the burden is that's on it, right? Yeah. That's how you know it's love because, again, love is patient, love is kind. Mm. So you can, you know, you know, oppositely, if it's impatient, mm-hmm. if it's unkind, it's not love. It's not love. You see what I'm saying? Mm. You see what I'm saying? You see this because, because again, love is always right. It says this, it always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Never fails, right? So that's an internal thing. Um, so like, like when you're doing it, there ain't nothing. You you're not doing it for anything to give back. Yeah. Right. You can't. You can't. No. Nah. You can't. Like, cause that wouldn't. That would never even serve as love if there was there was an intent or something to give back. And whatever right? you're looking for is never gonna meet your expectations. There you go. There you go. And again, it keeps no record of wrongs. And so, if you were looking for something in return for it. And you got something back that would be keeping a record of wrong. Yeah. Right. So you gotta void your your mind of any 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 return other than you know that you loved. Right. Right. But that, again, it never fails though. Yeah. That's one of the coolest things about it. Like it, it it never it never fails. Right. Um. And so, you know, like it, it don't keep no record of wrong. So and, and if you want to really apply it, right. Like, um, in this way, right? No matter the wrong, love is supposed to be the on the, on the other end. Yeah. Right. Um, I give you a real example, right? Real example. Something that I seen, like I, w- I would call this like love personified, right? This real, 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 real story, right? Um, y'all met my stepfather Keith. Yeah. Right. Um, shout out Keith. Shout out Keith, man. Shout out Keith. Definitely shout out Keith, man. Um, amazing, amazing man. This uh, I don't think nobody of mine out of the family is kind of common knowledge, um, especially if you from where from from where I'm from. Um, my stepbrother, his son, um, you know, had some had some tough times, man. Um, and there was an instance, right? Um, Chris had got into it, really trying to leave, right? He just trying to leave the crib on the way, you know, trying to trying to trying to really run away at the point in time, man. They kind of getting into it. It's bad, you know. Chris getting into a lot of a lot of trouble. He in and out of juvie, in and out of places. It's, 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 it's rough. Going through a trouble time. Yeah, 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 for sure. Coming for in sure. adult, coming for into sure. adulthood is hard. Sometimes. For sure, and, and it's yeah. real, right? Yeah. Well, in this in this manner, in the in 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 the, in the tussle of it, man. Uh, Chris got a gun. Gun go off. Mm. Keith get hit in the leg. Mm. Right. Um, this real, this was this why I talk about love, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm I'm outside playing basketball. I see I see it going on. I go back into the crib. You know what I mean? Cause they they kind of arguing, arguing. So I'm just like out the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? They gonna be all right. This this happened when Chris. If he get into something, you know what I mean? Like like pops gonna be on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they gonna figure it out, right? Because pops yeah, is yeah. going to do. Yeah, but either way, that happened, right? They lay on the yard. You know, neighbors hear the gun go off. Of course, police get called. They just sit in the yard, like, you know, arm in arm, right? Mm. Till cops come. Cops come, you know. Um, Keith, in short, was, you know, like, it's one of the, the, the greatest, you know, things I've ever seen. 
was like, you know, really trying to reiterate to the police, like, y'all not ones that's going, you know, to offer the best rehabilitation. You know what I mean? For anything that happened, this, 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 this is my son. Yeah. Right? You know, and I, I mean, of course, you got to do the consequences of being a teenager with a gun in the yeah. neighborhood, so on and so forth, man. But, uh, and like, you know, when I say no record of wrongs, right? Mm-hmm. Like, ain't never, we ain't never, like, that, there's never been, like, when I say he has never showed that that was anything mm-hmm. other than, like, if we'd have normally just met, bought in a bad grade, mm. right? Like, literally, that's how it felt in our yeah, house. That's, that's love. And that's patience. how I felt in Boy, our house. That is, yeah, that's that's how I felt in our house. Like, all things was equal, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah for, like, for all things, right now, yeah. like, all things was equal, yo. All things was equal, right? Yeah. And so, like, on some real, that, that, and that's, that's young. I'm in middle school, right, um, when that happens, right? I'm in eighth grade, Kenny in seventh grade, um, you know, and so we, we remember that very, very clearly. And, again, the school yeah. knows everybody kind of know in a small town, something like that occur. Yeah, of course. Um, but well, like that's something you tell your kids about. Yeah, man. but like that's again, that's why I say that's love personified, right? Most definitely. So that built that built kind of like my vision of it, right? Yeah. So from I kind of yeah, from an early age. So I always, you know, what I mean, on some real, I keep like my what would Keith do, like in the, you know what I mean, when I'm talking about loving something, right? Yeah. When I'm talking about loving something, right? Like that's what you you endure to the end; it never fails. And that's how you endure, that's how, and look, check it out, they say it never fails, and it never fails, right, it never fails um, because it's patient, right? Yeah. Um, it, it's patient. Um, it forgives, right? That's the key to it never failing. It forgives. Love always forgives. So, like, um, you remember being in school, like, teacher had, like, a forgiveness policy. Right, like they forgive a grade, let you repeat something, oh, yeah, anything, yeah, any yeah. type let of any type of something like that. Some right? You, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what that's what makes love never failing, cause that's what it is. It's like an endless forgiveness policy. Yeah, like, you good. I think you're women good. need to hear this right now. Redo it, remake it, <laughs> right? <laughs> Redo it, remake we'll get it. Get to that later, right? Yeah, I think women need to hear this. So right, like no matter, no matter, you know what you got wrong, how you got it wrong, why you got it wrong, when you got it wrong, yeah, all of that, whatever, whatever. That's like I said, bro. Yeah, no. yeah. My parents were forgiven, but I think if I'd have shot my pops in the leg, we would have had a big problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. ask them. Yeah. Say, I'm gonna ask yeah. him. I'm gonna ask him. Yeah, yeah, love has yeah. no yeah. limit. Let's Adrian, I already know forever, your daddy would have. Yo. Boy, your daddy would have been. Yeah, and so loaded looking for you. I hope not. Yeah, man, yeah. and that's that, man. May God add a lesson to the teaching of the word. Word, you did. That's good, dog. That, yeah, man. That, that's probably got to be the hardest part to keep pushing through and loving. Yeah, and sport. Well, I, I would say it's, it's just so much easier to give up. I mean, I feel like people people uh, show that unfor that un. Forgiving, I guess that's what I'm looking for. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness when it mm-hmm. comes to love, like when it comes to their sports team and shit. Yeah. Right. Like right, sports. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, no. that, yeah. Yeah. That's a like, good example. That's, you that's, feel me? Yeah. Like the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. Exactly. Yeah. Bro. That's what you're supposed to mean when yeah. you love something. Yeah. Like the, I know the Eagles fans right now are, right. nigga, they are experiencing some real love and forgiveness type of shit. Yeah, man. Well, like, they got to forgive a lot. Right? They got to. Yeah, right, right now. They got to forgive the rest. Who else man. they got to forgive? Who y'all was going for? I thought the Eagles was going to win. I thought the Eagles going to win. It's I wasn't necessarily going still somebody, still like but I, thought, I definitely believe the Eagles was going to win. Yeah, I thought the Eagles was going to win. I felt like, like, like Mahomes was going to win, but I just wanted the Eagles to win, though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. just Mahomes just Mahomes. I didn't man. believe he could pull it's it off, like man. It's not like you bet $50 on both teams. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it just sounded like. I was really indecisive. I didn't right. believe he could pull it off, man, because he would hurt. I just felt like that was just going to be enough with that Philly defense. Didn't he hurt himself? But it's like yeah, a, he hasn't playing with a high ankle sprain like the uh, yeah. three games, three games in a row. No, I'm talking about doing the Super Bowl. Didn't he come yeah. out for a second? Yeah, yeah. But that, he was, know, but that. he was on his Michael Jordan flu game though. Really, what it was? You know, how Jordan had him carrying him off. Yeah. But how was you that yeah. sick when they carrying you off when I just seen you dunk on all the people? Right, <laughs> like, right, 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 right. Mike wanted us to know if number one, it was the Gatorade. All right, the Gatorade lowered his temperature enough. 
Man. And gave him enough electrolytes. That nigga said, yeah. five minutes but and two was... squirts of Gatorade. Yeah, and right. I'm back in this bitch and drop 30. They flower for every nigga uh, on the court. Right. Drop 30 on your ass? Right. Hell nah. And, now, mm. and then when he hit the sideline, it's because all yeah, the Gatorade just, and just the, all the electrolytes just went through his pores. Yeah, he was done. So he the was Super done. Bowl. He was dead. The Super Bowl, what y'all think, <laughs> what y'all think about this script, though? What people talk That's about what, and that's another reason why I was going for it. The Eagles to win. Why? Because the script. <laughs> <Got leaked. laughs> yeah. I told y'all. Oh, oh y'all yeah. don't know. It, 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 yeah. I be on these rabbit holes Uh-oh. on TikTok mm-hmm. and shit. We're going to get to it. it. But, tell you know what I'm saying? Script, tell me about this script, though. You this script? It? Yeah. yeah. That? I got the picture. I have to find it. I ain't know. This. I don't, I don't. Y'all believe it, James B. scripted for real? Uh, no, nah, I don't think um like professional sports is scripted, but such shit is like um wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Shit. But, like, I don't. Like, I don't. Want to believe it is, but I do believe in the possibility of it. With that much money involved, with that much control, like, and, and they all professionals, right? Like, if if they really that good at their job, if you want it to script it, I think you got all the resources and tools to script a, a, a beautiful story that can get whoever pay however they want the payments to go out. Who you think getting the script there? Man, that's big. That's owner. That's, the that's way up like there, that. man. Yeah, that's that's the that's the. It's got to be ownership if it's scripted. It ain't no coaching. It ain't no player level. I can say they get a script, but I don't know how uh, outlined this script is. You know what I'm saying? Are they going play by play, or are they just saying like who's gonna win and who's gonna lose? I can say who's gonna win and lose, but not. I no, think not like no you know what I'm saying? No, because all right, if if see the all right, the conspiracy mm-hmm. is. That now also is the owners, the commissioners, but it's like high end people are up on, on this shit, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like not the lower end. Yeah. So if you said the lower end. <laughs> yeah, because if you a player, yeah. you really think that now this conspiracy wise people, if you a player, you really think that you can go out here and make a difference. Right. But the people on the higher up is like, bitch, we don't care what you do. Cause we got Magnus in the ball, cause that's the new thing. Oh, I see now. Nah, nah, that's different. No, nah, they putting Magnus in balls so that when they get kicked, it's it's a stronger could pull towards the uh, you know what I mean, whatever. So that can give them the ability to either throw off your shot, I mean your kick, or you know what I mean. If it's Magnus, where the other Magnus at though? Inside the damn <laughs> um, field goal post, genius boy. Yeah. So yeah. and then they got videos leaking of people like um catching the football. Yeah. And like not like literally, dude was like this with the ball, bro. And the ball was just there. Like he won't he was he Yeah, yeah. And then like it say on the thing like he forgot he was on camera and then you see other people run over and then they like tuck the ball and then they know, all man. run off. I don't know. And it's little and it's shit like, yeah, cuz if the commissioner say, "Hey, if you see this on the field, don't call this play. Like don't call this shit or it's your job." Yeah. You know how to call a fucking play. You yeah. Right? yeah. That's why I say I can see games being fixed, but not like the score or the whole play by play of it. Man, they if man they said yeah, that they I was fixing only, the World Series back in the tournament. Yeah, turn I think it would only take like key players exactly like, to really. Yeah, you ain't got to every because there's there's followers out there. Some people is just following the but command. But it's always uh, somebody. one hero. Yeah, and ain't nobody snitched yet. Well, somebody had to because it's yeah. out there. Yeah, but I feel like we want hero to say, you know, I'm gonna make a difference. I, I was in the NFL, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch this interception, and I'm gonna run like this shit back, and I'm running this shit back when I catch yeah. it. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. But then, if, but if somebody if, do if mess tell, up the script, I don't think if I tell happen. one of my refs that, hey, call it back. Oh, call it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Now, now yeah. you, yeah. the nigga yeah. on the floor who really thought Especially you was like gonna a holding make a difference. Call. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, they can pull them out anytime. Any time. Holding any play, on any number 67 yep. yeah. on the white team. Yep. Bro, number 67 is on the bench. Yep. Yeah. They can pull that out anytime, though. Yeah. You feel me? I guess so. Like I said, it could be done. I don't, I, like, I don't want to believe it's done, I man. I believe the boys out there balling, and, 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 and that's the magic of sports. I think, I like, no, that's the thing you see, especially, like, in football. Technically, if any of your players or your coaches outside a little white box, they can call a penalty on your team. Mm. Like at any given time. Mm. Do you know how many people be outside the goddamn white box? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All of them. So don't tell me that I can't read that bitch from up here. Yeah. yeah. You on the ground running your heart out every mm-hmm. interception. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He gets none this year to call it. Hey, call it back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was on the fence. Y'all kind of got me now, though. Yeah. So that's, I mean, I, but like I said, I don't think professional sports are rigged. Right. I think there might have been a time or two where maybe you had a dirty player mm. or a mm. dirty ref 
I think that's more likely mm -hmm. than the goddamn people in the corporate office yeah. saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, full of steam, gonna goddamn win the yeah. championship this yeah. year, and that's what I see it. Mm -hmm. Nah, you know what I mean. What y'all think about uh, Mahomes' dad? I don't know. Tell me about him. You ain't see the uh, you know you'll, you'll be seeing him on TikTok. Who uh, Mahomes funny, and his man. daddy? Yeah, no, yeah. man, I have no. He played pro ball though, man. The one thing I like about the the Super Bowl story, right? Um, both Did his the quarterbacks daddy the Super Bowl. Um, he played baseball, I think. Yeah, but he played professional baseball. All right, right, and then Jalen's dad is a coach. Right, like both of them got present dad, yo. Oh, that's for right. sure. Mm -hmm. They them stories, man. Yeah, that dude. I think that's dope, though. I seen the um on now on TikTok. I seen the uh the mother of she had a son on both teams. Mm -hmm. Kelsey, the Kelsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, man, they got a great interview with with, with both of them, right? Because they got a podcast. It's for dope, real? man. The Kelsey brothers. That's what's up. They got a dope podcast. But no, like the way the mom greeted the son who won. It was like, hey, love you, good job, proud mm -hmm. of you. All right, I'm gonna go find your brother. Yeah. And then the one who lost on the Eagles, like it was a, yeah, you did a great listen. Yeah. You here? Yeah. You did a great job. It was like on some motherly shit. Yeah, you know, I be dope. missing my mama a little key. So I was like, oh, yeah. she killed it. Yeah, she killed that's it. Dope. shout out to yeah. moms. Yeah, shout out to them. Hey man, that's dope to have both kids. You know, not only playing pro ball but in the Super Bowl, man. Right. That's right. You know, you come home with a win. Bro. Did you see? You know, shoes? you come home with a win to the crib. Mom Deuce was dripped out a little bit. I was like, okay, yeah. I see yeah. you, old lady. What she had a split shirt. I mean, a split colors. She has like, but all the way up in there. She had a oh, split okay. jersey, yeah. split jacket. Okay. She yeah. had split uh, special design shoes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, bro. Nice. Yeah, she was in her moment, man. Yeah, yeah man. That's super dope, man. Yeah. 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 All them Saturdays finally paid off. Yeah, man. Bro, I know she had to say that, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, nope. Yeah, man. I know some of you moms did it, but y'all ain't do it like that. That's on there. Who did that? Who you did know that, bro? It was somebody. You know it. You know she was team mom every time, oh, coach, everything, know, commissioner. It was the Barber Brothers, All that. I think. Well, the Barber Brothers, they, no, they didn't play in Super Bowl against each other. No, nah, I'm talking about somebody who won the championship, and then they daddy. Shaq. That's how I feel like her mama should be. When Shaq won his first championship, right, his dad, Phil, was there to celebrate and all that shit. Then afterwards, like, they rode home. When Shaq got to his house, his daddy like, all right, I'll holler at you later. Mm -hmm. He like, all right, let me get my trophy. No, nah, nigga, that's mine. Yeah. 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 Like, I feel like that's how yeah, they mom should be own, like, hey, hey, give me both the rings. Yeah. yeah. You'll go back and go go win you some more. Mm -hmm. yeah. These going in the house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good looks. Yeah. That's you know what do get motivated. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I'll I say uh, that's what Shaq. That's what Shaq said. That shit motivate him. Like, all right, mm -hmm. now I gotta go get my own. Yep. Right. I, I got you one now. I gotta go yep. get mine. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, Shaq Daddy was hard on him though. What uh? What else did we uh? Project Blue Bean. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Looking right into the camera. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Project Blue Bean, bitch. Uh -oh. Dive, dive. Sure uh, yeah, dive. yeah. yeah. So, all right, right. All right, I don't know if y'all know what's been going on in the skies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, right. While y'all out here watching the ground on the football, I'm watching the air bit. Like, no, nah, hold on. There's something else going on. But no, nah, so Pro uh, Project Blue Beam is, once again, a conspiracy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's no proven fact, but it was supposed to be a leaked document, a government document, basically saying that the United States government and other major country governments, though, you feel me? On some UN type shit, but like with all the lights off. <laughs> so like we all know we here. Like I know your voice, nigga, but I can't <laughs> see what country you with. You right. know what I mean? On one of them type shit. It's basically saying that um they are going to start staging a alien invasion. Oh wow. Yeah, well basically uh uh un unidentified spaceships will be seen and broadcast as far as on social media and on the television. Like in this project uh blue beam is not that old mm. you feel me but when you think about this shit like super bowl weekend right you get friday saturday and sunday over north america nigga we shot down a, a ufo friday we shot down another one goddamn saturday and then we shot down another one on sunday mm. you feel me and then when you see that shit it's on the news that shit is on cnn that shit is on um what else did i see it on fox news and then, like, you hear about the shit on uh, overseas. It's on every fucking social media outlet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you hear, like, overseas, they seeing these shits, and they shooting them down, and they broadcasting it. Like, it's no more trying to hide it. And it's like, what the fuck is really going on outside? Right. You know what I mean? Are we in a dome? Is the world flat? <laughs> is there an ice wall that they're keeping us inside of? 
Well, yeah, the ice wall shit from. What? You don't know about the ice wall? Nah. Bro, you got to get, I'm trying to tell you, I be deep down in these dark <laughs> rabbit holes. I told you, man, that joke like so a club you wall. ain't supposed to go to, man. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. It's like so, a club right, that gets so shot out every time. Don't right, go you know how deep, deep your whole dives, life you man. was taught the earth was like that, right? Right. All right. Well, just imagine if that bitch is like this. You feel me? And an oval shape with a goddamn dome like this, right? Mm-hmm. And the dome part is keeping us, like the United States, all of North America, all of your Asia, Africa, in a dome type of shit, right? Mm-hmm. And it's ice that's all around that shit. And then they saying once we get outside that ice, because it's different openings in the ice. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Once we get outside of the different ice, we'll find that. It's different lands, mm. and these lands are pretty much what we've been told planets were, but they're not planets. They're just outside the ice wall. Is it more countries. Now, no, no, nigga, not even a, like a whole nother. Just imagine a whole nother planet. Like everything that they do is different. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. The and way the that Jones, they handle and shit. The Jones connected exactly a lot closer than than what they telling us. Mm. Yeah. You feel mm-hmm. me? Mm-hmm. But yeah, nigga, the ice wall conspiracy. But I don't, I believe in a round earth, so I don't fall in the zone of the ice wall people. But I know what they believe. I got to get my TikTok algorithm together. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm trying to see. Don't go to that club. None though. of that? Uh-uh. I'm with Kev, hey, Look, don't go to that club, bro. You'll be seeing people who get kid now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, shout out to Mermaid 90, you know what I mean? <laughs> He ain't get killed now, but that nigga, bro, he seen some mermaid type shit. Oh, and goddamn, yeah. next thing you know, the uh, he was shooting a video and you seen the uh, scientists and shit testing his own uh, shit. The next thing you know, this nigga got in a car accident by himself and he don't even drive. God. Uh, yeah. What'd you say his name was again? Mermaid 90 or some shit like that, bro. I can't remember. <laughs> I'll look it up. It's on TikTok. But he was out there in the middle of the ocean in the middle of the night, bro, hearing sirens and yeah. shit. And shit was crazy. So it's like, yeah, Mermaid bro. 90, yo. Yeah, bro. It be, lady, it be ladies up there. Yeah, you be... got to be going to that club to know about Mermaid 90, man. I'm yeah, sure. bro. I'm trying to tell you. Beware, yo. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's it, bro. But if it's you're going, you're going. It's for single people, really. So you wouldn't qualify because your wife would be like, turn that goddamn phone off. Yeah, yeah, I got to go to bed, man. I yeah, gotta you got to get in the bed. Yeah, what is you yeah, doing? Man, you up there looking sleep. at bitches, ain't you? See, now you up here trying to look at the UFOs. You don't even want to no more. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, nah. Rabbit holes are for single people. I stand by that stuff, <laughs> But yeah, bro, but no. So, but yeah, but with the Project Blue Beam shit, it just made me start thinking like, is it possible? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it is. Definitely. It is possible because, especially in the United States, the government controls so much. You see what I'm saying? But then when you start hearing about places like China and shit, mm-hmm. where you know they government, they, they government control, they TikTok. Yeah. They they Facebook. You yeah. know, and goddamn, I think it's, it's either Japan or China, right? You got to be, if you under the age of 13, you get a whole different layout on your platform. Mm. It's not even like what you'll see yeah. as an adult. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you get that until you hit whatever age. Yeah. And then they have like basically you don't just walk into Instagram mm-hmm. like how our kids do. So you know what I'm saying? So once you start hearing about it's being broadcast and televised in places like that, you know like, all right, bro, some like is yeah. cause I don't believe spaceships is new. If that make any sense. Right. No, definitely, no, not. No, definitely, no, not. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe they knew, bro, because, I mean, we 80s babies. Right. I know all of y'all remember hearing them stories of people who was getting picked up in them cornfields and pro yeah, and all the, that. Uh, crop circles. Yeah. All that type of shit. So, yeah, where that smoke, that's fire. But right? even back then, you would hear stories, right? And then they'd be like, no, this was debunked this way. This ain't real. Mm-hmm. This ain't real. Like, do you know how many times they told us it was a weather balloon? Right, and now that we seen China's real life weather balloon, we like, hey, hey, that joint <laughs> that you said back in '97 did not look nothing like that goddamn balloon that y'all shot off uh, right. off South Carolina. But yeah, man, but yeah, Project Blue Beam, bro. Yeah, go find you a rabbit hole, find you some crazy shit, get into it, bro. I'm trying to tell you, my TikTok been on Black History Month this month, man. Blickety black, 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 black stuff. Mm-hmm. 
uh, more Virginia black history and more uh, military history as well. This one time ties into the the vets and the black history all in one month. Yeah, that's uh, nice. I, shout out to the vets. Shout out to vets. Uh, Norfolk, Virginia, uh, 757, Hampton Roads everywhere. That's, uh, we got these military bases here. Y'all owe us a Veterans Day Parade, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say that uh, as many times as I can so we can get that into a good motion. Yeah, but I like that. We got a lot of heroes here, too, to uh, to represent. One I want to talk about today is Horace Bivens. Mm-hmm. Horace Bivens was, uh, y'all ever heard of uh, Buffalo Soldiers? Mm-hmm. Bob Marley Jank. I was about to say the only thing I ever heard was Buffalo Soldier. Did you know what they was though? That was a battalion, man. It was dread like rosters that came from um mm-hmm. came from Africa. Yeah. Soul in America. Yeah. Um, That's us. how the song go. Hold on. Yeah. Soul in America. You suck. I did all that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to listen to it now. But the Buffalo Soldier was black people from Africa, us slave brought into slavery, and these was the first ones to serve into the uh, the military. Mm -hmm. One thing about the military is they kind of moved into the equal rights thing. They was uh, quicker (laughs) into giving people equal rights before the the civilians was. Yeah, you you fight for it. They give you some. They give you some things you fight for. Right, and a lot of these people was fighting wars overseas and then coming back home and then being second class citizens. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that that's still, I mean, that went happens. on all the way through, yeah. shit, the Vietnam War. Right. Uh, it still that's, happens that's today. 19. Anyway. Really? And it had to be really? weird because some of these people was like officers, you know what I'm saying, or like commanding officers or battalions or like generals or things yeah. like that mm-hmm. in the service. But you can't marry no white lady, though. No. Like, you know, like mm-hmm. you can lead a whole group of battalion of people into war. And this one, uh, the battalion of Buffalo soldiers, they was all uh, uh, all black regiment, right? Mm-hmm. Of all black soldiers, right? So they are gonna lead them, uh, led by a black man, and they're gonna lead into a war to fight all the Indians out of uh, uh, America while they're doing the Western expansion of America. Okay. So in order to get the Indians out, they send that black troop in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kill all the Indians. Choice in there. <laughs> and then the white troops come in or whatever. However, they finish it up after that. Uh, but one of them was uh, Horace Horace Bivens, and it was just like it was. They was monstering through people, man. They had like small battalions, but they was defeating gro- large groups. Of Indians, you know what I'm saying, just from being tough. And most of them, I probably feel like they just wanted to be good. They mm. just didn't want to be a battalion that say, you know, they could, they didn't get it done or where they got it done, but just barely. Because they were yeah. already looked at as se- second class, well, not even second class citizens back right. then. Imagine, yeah, and then they're thinking that you couldn't really probably shoot at the same yeah. uh, uh, rate that they could or mm-hmm. at the same marksmanship or run mm-hmm. as fast or yeah. be as be as war fight, warfare, warfare minded to be able to right. build tactics. Right, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and to be able to uh, fight a war or to come up with a whole plan itself. Right. Uh, but one of uh, like Horace Bivens, like I said, he was he went to Hampton uh, University here. Mm. Uh, he was uh, end up being a, a marksman, a sniper in the uh, the Buffalo Soldiers. Okay. So he ended up fighting through the Spanish American War after that war, pushing them through. Uh, what it says, tenth crowd battalion of Santiago, and then uh, what's the last one? He left the Philippines. And stationed in a series of military posts in Montana. You messed yourself up. <laughs> like, what well, happened again? I'm trying to say the last one and then uh, <laughs> in France and then to fight in World War One. So these are like three, four different wars as a marksman, dog. He's got uh, eight medals and badges given to him by the war in 1892 and 1894, dog. 1892. I imagine, Mm, but there's, there's two reasons why they're saying that they was calling them Buffalo Soldiers, though. Some of them, was, like, they had, some of them had big Buffalo coats. Like, they was cold out there. Mm-hmm. But they were saying they called them Buffalo Soldiers because of the hair. The black people yeah. hair. The like wool. Yeah, you know, that's, that's what I was trying to see. I'm yeah. trying to see the little picture. But you got a little burn. See, that's right. That was probably late in the day after the you know, early 30s. Yeah. Probably mm-hmm. cleaned it up a bit. Yeah. We're going to picture here, everybody. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. The, the, the Indians would see these black people and say, call them buffaloes. And yeah. then that's how they got the name Buffalo Soldiers. Because they were so big and burly. Yeah, they burly, yeah, burly here. Yeah. See, he clean he though. Really. He clean now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I guess, yeah, nah, that's picture ready in 18 whatever. With the dog. With the with the old lad looking dog. Yeah, that's really crazy. Shout out to the snipers, man. And that's a big, that's a uh, definitely a, a sophisticated role to be in, man. That's not no slouch job to be. Yeah, you already know it, bro. Nah, that's it. And then with like, uh, what else was he doing though? 
And the, that's how I said he was one of the Buffalo soldiers. He ended up being a part of the uh, the Rough Road Rough Riders too with Teddy Roosevelt. Right yeah, before that his was a big deal. Campaign. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was part of that Rough Riders before. But that was before he was president. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that can't. They were saying that he Teddy was Roosevelt he used to ride around with a camera, camera crew like a little Instagram crew. <laughs> so, because bro, they said that um, Teddy Roosevelt had pictures with dinosaurs. Yeah, well they said every time he be like, "All right, y'all, we finna go go ahead and fight this war." And be like. Yeah, take let's one. roll it. Take one. Hey. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah, ah. yeah. Right on the horses and then that. Like, yep. Like before that, so, but that was how he built his, his, his uh, legacy. Brand to, be, mm -hmm. to be able to be the president after that. But see, I, he didn't do the shit for being the president. He did the mean? shit. Like when Teddy Roosevelt was going on adventures and doing all those now that's yeah. what they say. Yeah. Well, I ain't no goddamn history scholar. But um, he was doing the shit because he enjoyed like the excitement of it yeah. on its own but just recording the shit mm -hmm. the recording the shit is just like he had enough common sense to do this shit before yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying yeah. well yeah, before saying. this that's shit what that's what i was getting at you feel me that's what i was getting at but yeah nah nigga because he was just on some bitch i'm out i'm not yeah. but that memorable shit ain't he, was living, he was living life like memorable though he was yeah, an eagle scout right. yeah. that shit ain't that shit ain't easy though imagine you gotta bro, be the nigga a, that shoot that shit he was an eagle scout bro What's that? He had like skills, man. He huh? had skills. Like no, like he that's like skills. a like a Boy Scout, the highest yeah, level yo. of Boy Scout you can he be. He had advanced uh, tactics. And then as soon as he was done with that shit, the nigga said, Bitch, I'm, in lust. I'm enlisting. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, nah. Real shit. So I've seen a picture of Teddy Roosevelt and a fucking dinosaur. It's a lot of pictures and in they, the video. You know man. what I mean? Now that shit could have been made up. They said he met some pygmy people. And you know? had a, a what? Oh, uh, you said he met a dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> he had adventures, though. Bruh. He had a good ass the camera. Adventures crew. of Teddy, yo. Bruh. He had a great camera crew. He probably ain't Bigfoot in there. It was on some goddamn um, King Kong type of shit. I was like, I can, we could make a dinosaur come out of the bathroom right now. <laughs> no, 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 bro. But this shit was like, yeah. Like I said, I don't know if it's real or not. You're right. They would never know if we want one. Fucking right. lion. Right. Maybe lion could just thing, be right, right here. It could be real, it could not. What about the moon landing? The moon could landing? Could be real, I could think not. It's real not. Ah, man. So. Do I think that people have ever been to the moon? Yes. Do I think when they televised that shit back in the 60s? No, that was not real. Mm. And the reason I say that is because Buzz, Buzz Aldrin did an interview on fucking, I think it was, what's the dude, Colin, the dude with the red hair? Yeah. yeah. What's his name? Late night TV show? Conan. Conan O'Brien. He did a he did a, a joint on Conan. And Conan was like, yo, I remember watching you as a little kid i remember you guys hopping out and watching you and he slipped up on live tv and said no you didn't watch us because there were no cameras at the time you watched an animation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he was like no 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 no. i watched you guys on tv he said yeah yeah, right. i heard you there were no cameras to broadcast all gotcha. we had was radio back then you watched an animation of us telling what was going on and they showed you it was on TV. Mm. And he's he's done Buzz Aldrin pretty mm. much told yeah. motherfuckers, mm. look, yeah, we went up there, we seen some shit we weren't supposed to see. <laughs> and we got the fuck out. I wonder what's up there. Uh, you on the moon? Them, uh what are the uh what's what's that dude name that uh made that Elon Musk? Flight? Not the white the white dude that made the space flights, the Virgin Mobile dude. Um damn I can't remember his name. I know who you're talking about though. You gonna ride one of Janks? No, I will ride with Elon Musk though. Yeah. Space Force, y'all going? Space I Force. I mean, huh? For a smooth little weekend. Yeah. On the Mars. I mean, oh uh, yeah, Mars. Nah, they yeah, ain't I'll going take, to Mars. I'll take a trip with Space Force. They're not going to Mars on the weekend. Where they going? To the moon. No, actually, what do they do? All right, all they do is go up into space and then they sit there and then they rotate around the Earth and then they come right back. Oh yeah, that ain't cool then. Yeah, no, nah, they don't go like out of our um, orbit. Yeah, they don't they're go outside our, our our outer orbit or outer in, in atmosphere or some shit like that. I can't get the word out. Endosphere, exosphere. Yeah. Atmosphere. It's like a bubble around mm -hmm. the Earth, right? Where all the gravity is still very much fucking active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't go outside that. It's one of them, hey, you see that gate? Don't you get your ass out there. Mm -hmm. All right? Because yeah. if you're going the wrong way, your ass going to sloop just Yep, different. yep. That's the endo-exo <laughs> difference. There you go. Yeah. Look, Once again, I learned that shit in rabbit holes, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nigga, deep in this rabbit hole, baby. You gotta get your TikTok. You gotta clear your cache. What you mean? You can change your your algorithm up. Oh no! Nah, look, so my so I can't never say that word. 
<laughs> what they want me to see. That shit has changed, right? Yeah. Because one, because of Harry Potter legacy. So I'd be like watching videos. You, say again? you got it? Huh? You got it? I ain't got it yet, no, but I'm I'm going to get it. Yeah, I seen that. This be so I've been watching all the little videos and shit on it already. Um, And then, like, uh, one of the dudes I work with, you know what I'm saying, he white. Yeah. And he in the service. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the shit that we send me is, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, what you yeah. what you laughing, Joe, with your white friends, you don't always yeah, laughing, Joe, with your black friends. Yeah. But he's my only friend on TikTok. Right, right. Yeah, so that so TikTok has said, oh, this, this must be... Okay. A white person, so now I'm getting <laughs> bro. And some of y'all is racist as fuck on TikTok. Person. Yeah. I'ma just throw that out oh there. Like God. I seen one video today, and the girl was like just saying, I get a lot of lady videos also, but not not like booty shaking videos. A lot of it's gonna be a great day right. type of inspirational videos for some crazy ass reason. Type right. of shit you don't like. Yeah, right? <laughs> like rest of bitches. So goddamn, um, the bitch like, all right, I'm just telling random random uh people happy uh happy black history month, right? Right. And bro, when I say these motherfucking white people are what right is this bitch? All lives matter. Yeah. And I'm like, man, these white people racist as yeah, fuck. But, uh, we gotta find a new way to deal with this stuff. Like if somebody nowadays we talk about like a couple of episodes now. If somebody call you the N word, you snapping, you gonna punch them still? Nah, like all right, so BM, I be playing GTA online and shit. Right. Um one dude said something to a little white boy. You know what I mean? Little white boy's like, you can't tell me anything. You're a hard. Yeah. With the hard E off. Yeah. Right? Purposeful. Yeah. And so, goddamn, I was like, yo, uh, I don't know if you know this, but that don't be hurting our feelings like that no more. Right, right, right. Like, right. in the video game world, little kids found out, like, oh, this is a very hurtful word that it can set people off. Right. That they say it so much. Yeah. Right. And then, that, bro, it don't need, I'm, a, I'm an yeah, adult. Yeah, they desensitized. This little boy was maybe nine years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when he called me that, I, I promise I start laughing. Yeah, I can and see then that. I released a slew, a slew of goddamn <laughs> white people slurs. <Yeah. laughs> okay, and I told him how his mother likes black men. Okay, yeah. and yeah. things she likes to do with black men. <laughs> Ten minutes later, this little boy is crying. All what you hear him like, you hear. The headphones drop. You hear him, Mom! and he's running. And it's like, bro, yeah, that's what you get. Right. You shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have. Yeah. And I mean, and bro bust out the door yeah. like, niggers! Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know how to get you guys off my hey, back. We can't We can't let them no. talk about the violence no more. Yes, you know no. Yeah. I right. called him an albino cockroach. Yeah. Yeah. A, a battle of words. You know what I'm saying? Words. A battle, battle of words. words. Yes. I call yes. them pink toes. There you yeah, go. Yeah. yeah, them pink toes. You know what I'm saying? I called him a frosted flake flea. <laughs> Frosted Flake <laughs> Yeah, bro. Like and the no. alliteration with it, too. Yeah, bro. Yeah, like it's cold with the alliteration. Yeah, Frosted no, Flake I'm an flea. adult. I'm an adult. I yeah, have a give it bag full of these. Yeah, I got words. Vocabulary is extensive. Okay. I was talking about. I call him that. a mountain dog fucker. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Yo, I do this. You in for one. Yeah, don't yeah. do it, son. Don't do it. You shouldn't have did this. Yeah. Why, why was that your first go-to? Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People don't even say your mama jokes no more. Right. You're near. Wow. Yeah, right, 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 yeah. right. I yeah. remember that's I said, that's a good point because we used to cook up. Yeah, you had to cook up. You had to cook up. Get it up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. get it up there. You get it up there. You have to get up there. Even you can't even get a good response if your jank was especially right. don't try to joke somebody and your joke be whack. Yeah, 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 yeah nah. You why why would fight. you why would you stand up and do this to yourself? Look, you right. have to fight now. Question. Yeah, that might get you in a fight for saying something. What were you thinking? But yeah, man, so yeah, that's what you got for us, dog? Don't you got a... You uh, already know, bro. Top five. Oh. Top five. Top That's five, Christmas. bro. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to another another month of the black... Uh, well, shit. It's Black History Month, so you mm-hmm. already know, man. This month, our top five is based on black people who did some great shit throughout right. time. You know what I'm saying? Nice, nice, yeah, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. You know what I'm saying? And so this is our top five for Black History Month. No particular order. It's just, you know what I mean? It's five of them. Some five You know top. what I'm saying? Uh, we're gonna go people. with my man uh, Charles Cooper. You know what I'm saying? He was the first African American drafted into the NBA in 1950. Nice. You know what I mean? So before 1950, it was nothing but a whole bunch of white boys. But um, dude definitely got outshadowed by other people. He was he was in the league. Um, it was 1950. 
he was treated like an African American who played a professional sport. He did not get to eat in the same mm-hmm. restaurants. He didn't get to sleep in the same hotels. Um, the city that he was drafted in, they were they did not like that shit. Yeah. But not on my top five. The uh, fucking um, Celtics was the first NBA team to start an all all black, five yeah all yep, five yep, black yep. people. You know did what you mean? see the uh, the Bill Russell? I did. That's where I got the information. Oh, man, from. that thing's outstanding. Though. <laughs> that thing is outstanding. There you go. It's a Bill Russell documentary yeah. on Netflix. Oh, yeah. nice, nice, go nice. watch that joint. It is outstanding. Yeah, yeah. They doing one on my man Ferdinand. There you go. Nice. That's coming up soon. Um, George, uh, I can't even say his last name. What is that? Teleferin. Yeah, gonna, yeah. yeah whatever. He was George. George was the first African Telef- American. Telefero. 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 George Telefero was the first African American man drafted in to the NFL in 1946. He was the first one drafted into like a professional sport Dope. on that level. Man. Okay. You feel me? He's before, he was like before basketball, which was 1950, getting to our next one, which yeah. was 1947. He's 1946. He's so yeah. he was a, and he played. So really, he got drafted in 1945. Gotcha. His first season was 1946. Pops put me on to him. Nice. Oh. Shout out to Pops. A um, great historian. Yeah, you already know. So that's uh, what's that one two? So number three is gonna be Jackie Robinson. Yeah. Everybody know Jackie Robinson. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? First African American drafted into the um, to the what is that? M- MLB. There you go. Major League Baseball. There mm-hmm. you go. Yeah, 1940, April 15th, 1947. I actually know that exact date because my pops is a huge baseball mm-hmm. fan. Um, yeah, even though some people say Babe Ruth was black. I believe it. You know? I believe it. I guess so. I don't know. They say a lot of people was black. Yeah, some vibranium in them. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, and then so who we got? We got, oh yeah, that's so that's I don't know. I think I did too many. That's three. So number four is Mom's Mabel. Mom's Mabel, I was just looking this up earlier because, like, I knew about her, but mm-hmm. I didn't know a lot about her. So Mom's Mabel was, like, the first African-American stand-up comedian, per se, to be televised, world not worldwide, but nationwide for mm-hmm. that point in time period. Mm-hmm. You feel me? A couple people might have made it in their district in the area. She was the first one televised from California to New York City. Okay. Um, she did, um, it was like a variety show. I forgot what the dude's name was, but she had a white co-host, of course, but she was the first one. She was the main act. She was like the director and everything. Mm-hmm. She had to put it all together. Um, however, though, she was born in 1894. Mm. She started acting at the ripe old age of 14 in 1909. Wow. Uh-huh. All the way to 1970. Mm-hmm. She passed away in nineteen uh, nineteen seventy five. Um, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, she definitely had a great life. Got to see a lot of people. Like, and without her, it's shit like this. Just right. us getting up here talking our shit. Whether it, you know what I mean, whether it be crazy or real or the word. Without someone like that getting out there and like doing it, we can't. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's so, real. Yeah, like no, nah, that's much. Shout that's out to real. Her. And then um, Hattie McDaniel, Hattie McDaniel, I'm sorry, Hattie McDaniel was the first African American to win an Oscar in 1939. Mm -hmm. I forgot what the movie was that she won for, but she was another person that was born around the turn of the century. And she was the first African American to win an Oscar. So, wow, bro, that's our shout out to number one Black History. That's outstanding, man. Black History. Marvelous, marvelous. Historical briggly black facts off top, bro, and that's our top five for the week, bro. You know nice, what I'm saying? Very well, man. Very well, man. I did homework on that one, bro. Yeah, yeah man. It showed, yeah. man. Yeah, give yourself some, man. I'm yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, that for, man. I learned a lot. Hey, man. But well, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I definitely. I was like, yo. You know what I mean? And then it's like how serious you take the word. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I'm gonna start doing the top five. I'm gonna start looking it up. Having little extras to throw in there. That's dope, man. But yeah, but uh, nah, you yeah. went in the straight pops mode, man. I good. did a little bit, you know yeah, what I mean. Man. But the same, you know what I mean. When you're yeah, rounded, you just know it. Yeah, man. Y'all do that <laughs> well, man. Y'all good storytellers, though, man. Oh story. yeah, man. Hey, man. My, my pops will have you uh, going for a minute sometimes. Yeah. Be like, yo, wow, I didn't yeah. see this coming. Yeah, he got multiple ones. Yeah, they can transition into them. He got he got like flawless transitions. Like you you just end up stuck and you can't yeah. get out. Sometimes yeah. it's like that, bro. Ah, yeah, he yeah. Can't, he can't get out. He got <laughs> yeah. flawless transitioning, flawless man. Flawless. Yeah. Yeah. 
But uh, before we get up out of here, man, I want to talk about something, man. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about these toxic ass ladies. Hey, 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 hey! You ever, you ever be in the street so goddamn handsome? No, Credit apparently not. <laughs> Me and you knew. Someone, look, look, someone else. Look, nah, so nah, <laughs> nah. So. I just said, man, look, Buster was offended, man. I, I, I think I felt his offense. Man. You felt his offense? Man. I felt his offense, You hate man. when the women is just, nah, they climb like through that. your whole nah, water. Nah, 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 but they just, he, see, he seemed offended, man. He seemed, he seemed yeah. offended, man. Clearly, so, like that so, move hold on, was hold on, advantageous. So, so, for everybody who don't know what the fuck we're talking about, uh, Busta Rhymes, I think they was in an airport, mm-hmm. and, the, and the lady noticed it was Busta Rhymes, um, brought to attention my homeboy after I watched the video. She backs up, hits two football stances, right. hop, hop, uh-huh. and a football move, uh-huh. reach down, uh-huh. and Bam. hit the hat. Yeah. So, once yeah. again, um, and then so Busta turns around, notices uh, it's a lady, and throws his drink. First thing you do, they push him up out of there. That was kind of the end of the whole situation. Yeah. Uh, like we were saying, well, I think you said it earlier. Nothing good comes from the that move, underhand. the under, the underhand. Nothing. The under. You, you never ain't nobody. Yeah. Like that. Nobody. Mm. Okay. The under man. What you was the even, expectation? Like, like, what was he gonna do? She grabbed, she like grabbed I that said, man's cheeks. When man. watching it, first of all, she I it was Busta Rhymes, dog. and then it was two other people, and it's like the little opening, if person. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? She's smaller than everybody. Yeah. There's no need for her to bend down. Right. And then when you coming up and yeah. you coming under yeah. and up. Yeah. You're yeah. not even coming. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, yeah, that move. You man. coming under and up. It's like either you going for an ass tap or a dick tap. Yeah, she yeah. going for it. Yeah. She going for it. You yeah. going for one of them. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. That move is going for it. That lady was it. probably freaky. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The lady would probably, she yeah. probably hit one of them. Uh, you, sound like a, you sound like a Karen now. <laughs> she, probably like, she probably was freaky. She probably freaky. She probably was freaky. She looked freaky. like she was on drugs. <laughs> she might have been. She looked like it. Oh. You, you know all these bitches getting their butt lists and BBLs and shit. She didn't make a mess to freaky. They got their part of perk in. Perk. 30 just yeah, popped the part right 30 in. Yeah. 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 She popped two of them bitches, came out, seen Boston, said, ooh, that that I'm going to smell them booty cheeks later. Why <laughs> would you do that to them band? Right. Exactly. But well, do y'all think he overreacted? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, I don't want to normalize that. Do you think he overreacted? It, it shouldn't be normalized, man. Like, if that's... So, hold on. What shouldn't be normalized? Throwing a drink on a woman? No, or nah, what should be on randomly? Grabbing yeah, yeah, yeah. Grabbing him. On your grabbing him. And especially if it's real talk, real life in a sexual manner, right? If yeah. the aim was for that, right? Come on, man. Yeah. Come on. Like, what do you think the result is going to be? Like, you know I what I mean? I just told you she was going <laughs> to... Yeah, How old is Busta Rhymes, dog? That ain't the move, How old Busta uh, is? That ain't the move, man. That's an OG, dog. Right, yeah, that's right. A, right. That ain't the that move, ain't no, man. That ain't little Uzi. They you know ain't no little there ain't no young kid out here that you groping on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Walking through the airport. It ain't like he on the stage performing. Even if he is on the... You see where that girl grabbed Kevin Gates? That's a good part. Yeah. You see when that girl grabbed Kevin Gates? He slam kicked her in the chest? Yeah, I mean, I just seen Buster mm-hmm. once again uh, kind of go at a woman for touching... She, like, grabbed him and his ring ended up coming off of him. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. He 50. My dog 50, dog. He been around yeah, since the just, birth of hip-hop. You can't just grab that man's cheeks, man. Nah, nah, nah. So that's how you feel? That's the OG, dog. Oh, I thought Jay-Z was like 60 by now. 50, you about to have, you about to got grandkids. And I it, mean, it probably. Open you up in it. He might have been trying to get to the bathroom because the little grandbaby got a pee. I mean, that joint just so awkward, though. They in the airport. But she don't, I don't like, feel like she groped him. She, I, it was a tap. Why you tap this man? Right. Because she freaky. We been, look, <laughs> y'all got to get past the freaky part. Because only, <laughs> nah, only, that's only a part, freak, yo. only a freak <laughs> right. is going for either dick or, dick or ass. This is why I say why you tap him, because I'm thinking what, what happens if this goes well? Well, she right. said she yeah. was trying to tap him on the shoulder. Right? Nah. But if you if y'all watch it, it's on TMZ, it's on fucking Shade Room, it's everywhere. But if you watch the video, it don't look like she trying to go for a shoulder. You don't right. go. I ain't never tap one of these niggas on the shoulder. From coming down <laughs> under. I said, oh, let me, hey, bruh. <laughs> it don't work like that. Like, if anything, you go extra with it. Hey, nigga. You know what I mean? 
I, I, this is just disrespectful. I'm appalled. You're appalled? I want to sue. Uh. <laughs> uh, 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 what's the damages? But there is some toxic ladies out there, though. Right, right. And especially, it's, again, especially if the move was. And I mean toxic on that notion, though. I'm not I'm not right. talking about that mental, or like the right. verbal. Right, no, they're going to use their sexuality. They are physically. Right, you're right. You're going to take this pussy. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, if, 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 if it's that level, right? If, if, if the indeed is like, I'm going to overpower you with my sexuality. Yeah. Then that that's that's predatorial, man. That's that's that. So you, you know feel like I mean? they predators now. <laughs> if 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 they were finna overpower that man, like if you, well, you I'm take, scared. I'm finna take Look, that shit. Well, I'm scared. Don't, <laughs> don't put your pussy on yeah. me. Don't you do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. No way. Don't stop chasing me. Nah, oh no, I fail. Oops, my dick <laughs> fell out. Yeah. Don't you suck it. Bitch, yeah. the fuck, nigga. I wish the fuck I would find a predator, bitch. I'd like, <laughs> be happy. <laughs> they probably fat though. I knew this one bitch. You know what? Now that you bring it up, from her, you ran from her. So we're gonna tell a story, everybody. Uh -oh. we <laughs> you here. finna call her a predator? Long time ago, this lady was a predator. <laughs> I go to a house party. All right, I go to a house party. They can't make you give it to with my goddamn give it coworkers. <laughs> <and> <laughs> can't do that. My coworker, you know, you know, it's a party, nigga. You yeah. know, somebody invite somebody, whatever, whatever, whatever. So right. the lady who parted the house was at. She invited one of her coworkers from her second job. Mm. Okay, she worked in the office. Shit, this lady wasn't an outgoing type person. She was yeah. a I stay in the house type of person. She yeah. was a little overweight. She wasn't huge, mm -hmm. but that's how she saw herself. And with lots of people, the way you see yourself is the way you carry yourself. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So she seen herself as a huge bitch. <laughs> so she carried herself. As a huge bitch. <laughs> right. right. See what I'm saying? But gotcha. looking at her, like, no, you you chubby. You chubby, but you're not a huge. You not no huge. Bro, yeah. I've seen bitches eight times your size. <laughs> Order three pieces <laughs> by themselves. But none the fucking less. So we at the party and shit. We having a good time drinking, smoking, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some people were in the corner, pop 10, pop 20. Back in those days, it was S. Mm -hmm. I was more so with the drinkers and the smokers. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, it's a party. It's a party. Having fun. We see her. We eventually, hey, 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 look, you the only one in the corner. Come on now. Come on. Mm -hmm. Everybody now is like, no, come on. Yeah. Come on. So now you got a whole party of people. Come on, come on. And it brought her out of her shell. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So then she asks one of the other guys, like, hey, can I get a pill? Dude, say, yeah, here. Bow. She popped that thing. <laughs> Take two shots. Nope. Nope. <laughs> know what I'm saying? So now she's starting to feel loose as a goose in that bit, right? Yeah. But once again, she's not little. <laughs> but now this big bitch image in her head is gone. It's gone now, though. All okay, right. these people, they love me. I'm their queen. They want me. I'm over here. I'm over there. I'm over here. I'm over there. She drinking. She smoking a little bit. And yeah. so I got a homeboy there. I'm going to leave his name out. Yeah. But I got a homeboy there. And she... I'm going to fuck you tonight. Right. And he's like, no, you are not. Right. <laughs> and he like, yo, y'all got to make sure she don't mess with me. Right. So me and um, my lady friend who I'm with, the girl who throwing the party, which is my lady friend, cousin, yeah. goddamn, and a couple other people, we like, we got you. Yeah. And ain't your lady coming? He like, yeah, all right, well, your lady crazy. Right. So all she got to do is smell that somebody else is after you, mm -hmm. and your lady's going to shut it down. So we're going to enjoy ourselves till your lady get here. Right. His lady come. He is slumped in the corner. She get mad and leave. Mm -hmm. We party. Party it up, people. All right. All right, party in. It's Atlanta. We're going to Waffle House. Right? Mm -hmm. So we go to Waffle House three cars deep. Mm -hmm. After Waffle House, certain people are like, all right, I'm dipping, I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm with old girl and her cousin and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm going back to where the party is. Plus, my homie is still slumped in the corner. Mm -hmm. We all know we left him there. Right. So nighttime comes, everybody go to sleep and everything, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I fall asleep. Like, me and my lady, we ain't do nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Right. We fall asleep on the couch, though. You feel me? He's in the corner. Mm -hmm. Big John was mm -hmm. supposed to be in the room in the back. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Magically, she done ended up out here. Like, as I'm waking up, mm -hmm. she's out here because the bitch standing over me. Yeah. Like, 
are you going to take me home? Like, mm-hmm. it scared me, bro. Yeah. And, like, my little shoulder had to, ah, mm-hmm. calm down. Because back then, I was rattlesnake days. Yeah. yeah. I'm hopping up looking for my pistol because mm-hmm. I don't know what the hell. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Long story short. So, either way, goddamn, my homeboy is starting to wake up because of all the motion. And he like, yo, what's wrong with my pants? <laughs> so, we all like, what the fuck? What you mean? Mind you now, whole time, right? Yeah. <laughs> She's over by the door. She is ready to go. <laughs> Are y'all going to take me home? Who's going to take me home? Hey, man. Who the hell was fucking with my dick last night, man? <laughs> <laughs> is y'all going to take me home? I'm ready to go home. Is y'all going to take me home? I'm ready to go. Diane, I'm ready to go home. You know what I'm saying? So, goddamn, this nigga get up, go in the bathroom and shit. Yeah. Hey, man, I get some pussy last night. Oh! So- <laughs> So goddamn, bro. So now I'm like, I'm not going nowhere till I find out what the fuck. Cause right. you was slumped from the time your lady came, left. We went out, came back, sir. You've been slumped. You you did too many drugs this evening. You were slumped. Nobody messed with you. Right. Yeah. And this is like my homie, my homie. Mm. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, no, nigga. Hold on. Yeah. Fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he go to the bathroom. She come back. I'm like, bro. So he like, bro, I think that big bitch fucked me. <laughs> as soon as he went, like, mind you now, because it's not a big apartment. So as soon as he say this to me and I'm by the bathroom door, we just came out of, you just hit a front door, open and close. <laughs> bitch, bitch, she's like, fuck it, I'm trucking it. I'm out of oh, here. Oh, that's dirty as fuck. Yeah, bro. So then goddamn, mm-hmm. after like, it was like a couple days later when Diane went to work and then she got it out of her. Yeah. Uh-huh. When everybody was slumped. She took it, yo. She took it. Oh, None yeah. of the night, bro. Took it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah bro. But, yeah, so it is toxic women out there. It's, it's, it's predators. Yeah, like yeah, I'm saying, like, if that, if, that, if, that is the, if that was the aim, that's 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 predatorial. That's dangerous, right? I would yeah. be crushed. And so, like, I, I, you know. So what, I, if, I what if, if your woman if, trick you? Do you feel like that's being, if that's her being a predator somewhat? No way, but I mean, my woman ain't going to do nothing predatorial. Like, nah. th- 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 again, we ain't talking about nobody woman. I don't think like your own nah, woman yeah. should be predatorial. Talk, yeah, you right? We talking about, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cause I feel like it's niggas out there married to a predator lady right now. <laughs> hey, they be yeah, like that's and that's bad. Hey, it's, 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 bad. it's like this. It's bad. Turn this down. Oh my god, saying. they got my email. That's Turn what it down. I'm saying. Like be on the lookout. <laughs> Don't be. Yeah. Don't be. Yo, so if you walking through the airport, man, and somebody grabs you, throw a drink in their face. <laughs> they'll leave you alone. They'll yeah. walk away. If you you might be able to use words though. I mean, yeah. right? You <laughs> might be able to use words. Words yeah, don't work. Say you can't. She ain't use no words. Right, right, right. I Mike Tyson, Mike point. Tyson tried to use words. And yes. what happened with him? He got hit in the head with a water bottle. Right. I just say you may be able to. I ain't say that is the the, the option or the you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I, I he reacted, his reaction looked like, hey, he was offended. Yeah. And this is what's gonna happen. It did, because the way he threw it. It was immediate. I felt it was like he yeah. threw it like a bitch a little bit though. Like he said, mm. Mm. Yeah, he know what to do. He ain't know what to do. That's why I say he ain't know what to do. Grab that man cheeks though in the airport. Yeah. But you're but not walking through the airport thinking somebody finna grab your cheeks. Though. Right, but if I'm not walking nowhere thinking somebody's <laughs> right. about to grab my cheeks. Right, Look. even if I'm in a dark alley and right. I see three niggas walk <laughs> right. before me, like, that ain't and the then move. I see them do this. Yeah, I don't know, nigga. They that not finna the grab my my ass. Right, like why? They gonna grab my ass, but no, I don't think it's the old come here. We the booty bandits, bitch. Look at it like this, man. If you if you don't defend yourself in the airport, you can find yourself at your homeboy's party. <laughs> upstairs slump, get, upstairs slump, get hump. Bro, is upstairs, that what you want? Upstairs yep. slump, get upstairs hump. Slump? Nigga, upstairs slump, <laughs> get hump. Is hey, that what you want? Upstairs slump, get hump. If that's not hey. what you want, upstairs slump, get hump. She grab your butt, throw hey. a drink on the dog, stand up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay tactical, people. Let's stay, let's stay dangerous. Yeah, that's like, what would you do? Your lady lift you up like, mm, <laughs> give me that dick. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, man, uh, we hit everything, man. We had a, we had a good layout. Yeah, definitely. A good uh, plan for the year. We executed. Yeah, man. Uh, I feel good. Y'all feel good? I feel great. That's terrific. You want to sign out? How we, how we say we're going to do? All right, man. R out. Young, gifted, and black, cause it stayed on my back. Now the black nuance, all the putting you on. Look at the place in Wakanda where we all belong. Where the vibe is vibranium, take you straight to the cranium. It's you holding you back, ain't no use in you blaming. This ain't victim shaming, this let's get to change it. This that meant for playing it forever in a day. This that we all we got and all we got today.